The aptly named Lights collection is coming, so let's style and pair them. We're starting with the Dusk View window surface and three props, two ways. See how in this one we used the plant and the books in the background and used a low f-stop or portrait mode to keep them blurred. And we also billowed a styling towel in the front corner. Here they are again, but now the candle is standing on top of the book stack and we use the towel and draped around the back to kind of hug it like an armrest from behind. We also took that same plant and we laid it on its on its side like this. So you get the beautiful leaves, but it's still potted and you didn't have to remove any of the leaves in the process. Also, we pulled back so you can really see what dusk view looks like. Back to this one, see, same leaves. Also, dusk view, it's moody, it's mystical, it's fantastic for anything like candles, crystals, anything when you want just a little bit of a moody vibe. Speaking of greenery, how about some in your surface? This is Garden Arch, as well as styled a little sprig in the background and a little sprig in the foreground. This surface is fantastic for anything celebratory, so weddings, cocktails, anything like that. Now, switching to food, this is the barscape surface, not a real bar. How incredible does it look with this bar type food? Two tips from this photo. One, stacking two plates gives you height and visual interest, and it looks really good. Um, as well, this is the sheet pan replica surface, and I love this one paired with barscape. Note also the warmth. You've got the dark woods, and you've got this warm lighting that gives this yellow and orange look. You're gonna note that because Here's the exact same scene, but with restaurant scape, also part of this collection. I did this on purpose so that it looked like barscape is the bar within the restaurant restaurant scape. You've got those dark woods, you've got that warm glow. I love this look. And back to barscape because we've got a whole restaurant in just two surfaces. I wanna show you this one because it shows another way to display a smaller food item. It's using a riser. This allows you to display it without needing a side or having any empty space on a plate. You can also use sauce that might go onto this recipe as a prop in the background, like in this bottle. Same wrap, but let's serve it in an industrial loft. This is fairy brick. I also love the greenery that pairs with the lettuce. And now our dish is being served at an outdoor celebration. Instead of swapping the surface, let's swap the food. What I love is that we paired this with natural walnut, which beautifully complements the wooden slats that line the walkway. It wouldn't be a lights collection without some bokeh lights. So this is Valentine lights. It's the first ever pink and purple light surfaces and it's perfect for Valentine's content or year round if you're a pink and purple lover. What I wanna show you is this unexpected pairing. This is Beechwood. See how it matches these creamy peachy lights beautifully? Same here, Beechwood matches the tiny lights of fairy brick and the twinkle lights of Duskview. And of course, the creamy lights of night lights. Isn't this an incredible surface? Let's talk more about the design behind night lights. This is actually a combination of components of city lights, which were orange lights on a dark background, and champagne lights, which is light lights on a light background. So now you get the light lights, the dark background, and it is so beautiful for creating a night celebratory scene. One thing I wanted to note is that the styling of this scene is a little more complex. We've got the riser in the background with the vase on top. We've got the lavender and the flower buds that pull together the decoration on the soap. It's not that hard, but there are a couple components here. Watch what happens when you only use two. Pretty incredible, right? We did this with just two items, the wooden riser and the oats sprinkled in the foreground to tie in the decoration on the soap. Because the light surfaces add so much visual interest, you can keep the styling to a minimum if you want to, and the photo is still incredibly striking, scroll-stopping, eye-catching, all of that. See what I mean? Same thing with Valentine lights. This, by the way, is cement. It'll be the pairing for all of these. And the moody and mystical dusk view. And the celebratory garden party that is Garden Arch. And fairy brick. I cannot forget fairy brick, especially because, look, the little oats... How beautifully do they tie in with the golden lights? Okay, back to Valentine lights for a sec. We know that the bokeh lights are designed to be used upright like this, so they look like blurred lights in the background. But you can also use them like this. In flat lay form, how pretty is this? The key here is to actually put a styling block under your prop. A styling block is anything with a flat top that can raise it up. So it can be a small box, it can be physical wooden boxes, anything you can hide under there. A jar of lotion could be a styling block. And what that does is it raises it up and separates it from the background. So you do end up with a little bit of blur and a little bit of dimension where you used to just have a flat lay. Same for night lights, equally gorgeous in flat lay form. Just use that styling block and you'll get a beautiful effect just like this.
Finally, I'm going to put myself on the ceiling so you can see how amazing all of these look with the gloss black replica surface. This is Barscape, incredible reflection of the lights. Fairy Brick, because Fairy Brick is on the lighter side, you get a beautiful silvery kind of metallic reflection. Night Lights, total stunner because you reflect all of the lights. Restaurant Scape, it's warm and reflective. How would you not want to eat here? Dusk View, which gets even more moody and mystical. And the ridiculously inviting Garden Arch. Don't you just want to go down that pathway and go to this party? Final thought. I created the Lights Collection surfaces to stun your audience. So if you're a professional photographer, I want your photos to be portfolio builders that blow your clients and prospective clients away. And if you make or sell food or products, I want these surfaces to celebrate the intrinsic quality of what you do so that your customers and prospective customers, they see it, they know it, they buy. Love you guys.